Hey guys, Jakatalig here. Welcome. Meron tayong bagong unboxing and hands-on from Cherry Mobile. Ito yung new budget smartphone nila this 2020 Cherry Mobile Flare Wi-Fi. So bago natin simulan, be sure to click the subscribe button and bell button. Okay? Bago natin unbox, check natin sa likod yung initial specs, yung full specs uh, nakapost sa description below. It's running on Android 10 Go Edition, so latest one is from Google, quad-core 1.4GB CPU, 16GB ROM plus 2GB RAM, 8MP rear plus 2MP front camera, dual SIM LTE ready, 5.45 inch IPS Tribu teardrop display, Wi-Fi, 2000 battery capacity and expandable slot for micro SD up to 64 gig okay so let's do the unboxing clear Wi-Fi smartphone battery headset micro USB cable charger free protective case and quick user guide next check natin physically see Clear Wi-Fi. So, ito yung 5.45 inch IPS teardrop display. Sa taas, 2MP front camera. Right side, power button. And volume rocker. Left side, button part. Top part, 2.5 audio jack and micro USB port. At the back, battery cover design. So, ito yung 8MP camera with flash. Sa baba, yung speaker. So, removable yung battery cover niya. Ito yung micro SD slot. Sa right side, yung SIM slots 1 and 2. Okay. Next, check natin yung user interface. So, si Flare Wi-Fi is running on latest Android 10 Go Edition from Google. So, para sa akin, mas smooth yung interface niya compared kay Oreo Go Edition. So, yung previous version. Preloaded apps are mostly stock Google Go apps. Punta tayo sa drop down settings. Ang nakita kong bagong feature niya dito, uh, meron siyang dark theme or dark mode interface. So, click lang natin siya. So, mapapansin nyo yung UI niya, nag-switch siya from light to dark theme. Yung dark theme mode, nag-apply din siya sa mga Google apps. Example, calendar, Chrome, Contacts, Drive, Duo, Files, Phone, Play Movies, Play Store, YouTube. Uh, isa lang napansin ko yung One Up lang na uh, hindi nag-apply yung Dark Team is yung Messaging App. Pero the rest of Google Apps, applicable yung Dark Team. Pagdating naman sa settings, uh, almost same lang ng interface from Oreo Go Edition. From network and internet, connected device like Bluetooth, apps and notification, battery settings, uh, meron din siyang uh, bagong added feature dito. So example, itong close up after screen lock. Uh, once activated, yung mga apps mag-stop siya from running from background. Ang maganda dito, it can save battery power. Pero downside lang, for example, sa social media apps, uh, wala kang marireceive na notification. Sa display settings, uh, mayroon din siyang on and off dark theme dito. And also for notch display. Other settings like schedule power on off settings, sound settings, storage, privacy, location, security settings. Uh, by the way, mayroon din siyang face unlock feature. Accounts and about phone. So click lang natin yung Android 10. Pagdating sa camera for still photos, meron siyang HDR beauty camera. Swipe natin left side for camera mode. Uh, you can use auto or manual mode. In manual mode, pwede mo adjust yung contrast, saturation, exposure compensation, ISO, white balance, and also default set. Meron din siyang burst shot, panorama, 
filter, audio record, QR code, scanner, and night shot mode. Swipe naman natin pa right. So ito yung camera settings for still photo. Pagdating naman sa video recorder, swipe left natin. Meron siyang type lapse, slow motion, and night shot video recording. Swipe naman natin pa right. Ito yung uh, video recorder settings. Okay. Next, check natin yung gaming performance.
Okay, so natapos na natin yung unboxing ng Hanson natin kay Flare Y5. Uh, based on our Hanson uh, test, ang masasabi ko mas uh, malaki yung naging improvement uh, in terms of performance compared from previous version ni Chair Mobile ng mga budget Go Edition smartphones. So first, uh, mas improve and smooth yung handling experience. Second, yung ginamit na CPU chipset, uh, malaki rin improve it. Mas bumilis yung performance niya. Third, pagdating sa gaming, very acceptable yung gameplay natin kay Mobile Legends and PUBG Lite. Yung lowest settings. So, makikita natin as uh, smooth naman yung gameplay natin. Pero syempre, don't expect pa rin na playable yung mga high-end games. So, for me, recommended games ko lang is yung mga basic gaming apps. So, sa mga naghahanap ng affordable budget smartphone, highly recommended itong si Flare Y5 for 2,999 pesos. So, sulit na sulit yung presyo niya. Kung may mga question kayo, uh, post nyo lang sa comment section below. Sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, click nyo lang yung subscribe button and bell button. Para updated kayo sa mga latest unboxing and hands-on video natin. Okay? Thank you.